Now we're taking you live to Canberra. The Shadow Treasurer, Angus Taylor, is reacting to today's GDP figures. For Australians. Uh, we see in that smorgasbord negative gearing, uh, work expenses and a long list of other tax options that this government no doubt would like to uh, impose on Australians to deal with their spending habit. $114 billion of additional on-budget spending at the last budget and $45 billion of off-budget spending that we've opposed uh, in recent months being pushed through the parliament. Uh, we need an Australian government that is focused on the priorities of the Australian people and the top priority right now is helping Australian households and businesses to make ends meet. That is clearly not the priority of this government. Happy to take questions. Um, Alice, you and the opposition leader haven't quite agreed either on what will happen if, if you won the next election to, to this what do you want to see done? Well, can I just emphasise here that the focus here of Labor's policies is this term of parliament. They're putting the legislation through on this term of parliament. So this idea that they're taking this to the Australian people is deeply misleading. Uh, they're legislating it now without taking it to Austra the Australian people. Full stop. And that, that was my point this morning. Uh, in, terms, in terms of what would happen post-election uh, if we were to win... Um, then the, the Leader of the Opposition, Peter Dutton, has been absolutely clear, and I, I firmly agree with him. We, we would repeal uh, the legislation. Uh, that, that is our position. But, but the point I want to emphasise here is this is not about the next election. Labor is proposing to put this legislation through in this term of Parliament. Uh, and you know, they're using the usual kind of spin that we, we, we're now getting consistently from this Labor government. To, to argue somehow that they're not breaking an election promise. This is a super size election promise that has been broken. But it would be up to Australians to decide whether they wanted that to happen, given the changes come through after the election. So are you saying those changes yeah. shouldn't occur? And what would you do to make up that? If, if, Labor, if Labor is serious about putting this to the Australian people, they shouldn't legislate before the next election. It's very simple. It's very simple. This is very tricky from Labor, because they're not expecting any revenue from it until after the next election, so they should wait. Uh, and that's how you put it to the Australian people. They have no intention of putting this to the Australian people. This is going to the parliament in this term. So uh, there's no ambiguity about that. Uh, it's just the same kind of spin that we consistently get from Labor. I mean, we've been very clear on where they're saving. So, I mean, $45 billion of spending that Labor's committed in recent months that we've said no to. Now, they're not happy about it, saying no, but it's not the right time to be spending more of Australians' money. Australians are struggling to make ends meet. They've got rising taxes already flowing through. Uh, we, don't need, we don't need more pressure on their budgets through a, a big spending, big taxing government. Isn't Labor's proposal far more modest than the superannuation tax hikes the Coalition delivered? Well, let's be very clear about this. Uh, they haven't been up front with the Australian people about how many Australians are going to be affected. And the important point here is the Treasurer included a very tricky provision in what he's laid out, which is to not index the threshold. This is kind of tricky, tricky behaviour we're starting to see from Labor. Uh, and what it means is that for someone who's expect, expecting to go into the pension phase in 10, 20, 30, 40 years even, um, their, they, their threshold in real terms will be way below what Labor has laid out. And if inflation continues to rage, uh, that, that threshold in real terms will fall dramatically and the number of Australians affected will fall dramatically. Now, uh, it's on the government to be honest with Australians about how many people will be affected uh, under, under a, a range of different inflation scenarios. Uh, but what I can be very confident of, it is a lot more than they are saying. Um, uh, they are, as always with this Labor government, it's a Trojan horse government. They just want to get into power and do what they want to do without being up front with the Australian people. This is a Prime Minister who said uh, that his word was his bond and yet within 12 months, within 12 months, he's walked away from a very clear commitment about superannuation taxes.